Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to Spider-Man. Time to change our suit to the Spirit Spider. Definitely a Ghost Rider influence, I'm thinking here. It makes the most sense to me. Also, very creepy that his head is just a skull. But, you know, that's the kind of a Ghost Rider influence in a nutshell. Anyway, uh, when we last left off, we were in the middle of a hostage situation. It happens. So we need to take care of these guys and make a safe path for everybody to get out. And also, uh... Gotta be careful or the hostages will get hurt. Yeah, also not get ourselves noticed and get people shot. That's an important thing. That's an important part of this mission. Thankfully, inside here, there's a lot of vantage points for us to take advantage of. Ah, so let's see. Why is Lee so hellbent on terrorizing New York? I don't know. I'm sure he's got some kind of complex motivations. And up here. Ah, there's a lot of dudes. Ah, let's see. Oh, decide if you're danger or not. I'm upset. I'm gonna take it out on you. Ha da da. Sometimes guys just can't decide if they're vulnerable to being attacked or not. It's really quite inconsiderate. He was right. I'm starting to miss him. Ah da 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 da. Get you. Yes, sir. There we go. Uh, let's see. I wonder where all those other guys we uh, stuck to the ceiling before went. I suppose a question for another time. We've got to focus on this. Uh, let's see. There are a lot of dudes around here. Just a lot of them. Uh, over here. And you are not quite under the light fixture. That's a little disappointing. Oh well. Just go ahead and do that. And you guys. Well, that was pointlessly impressive looking. <laughs> Just need to take out a few more. Then it'll be safe for you to move. Hurry. Uh, Pete, you might not want to shout that, if I'm being perfectly honest. Not to be critical of your methods. But, uh, you are in a sensitive situation here. <laughs> ah, da -da. What to do about you two? You are just right next to each other. I wish I could perch on that thing instead of swinging through it like a moron. <laughs> That's uncalled for. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do at all. I was trying to go up here. Thank you. Whoa, uh, that was quite the leap you just made. Huh. Anyway. Uh, let's see. These two guys are annoying me. Can I zip up to the ceiling and do something about them? Not really. Not really touching the skylight, but okay, Peter. <laughs> Whatever you say. Um, am I stuck? No, there we go. Ah, oh, seriously, what am I supposed to do about you two? I can... 
Maybe cause a distraction. Okay, MJ, time to go. Copy that. Everyone, follow me. I guess that was enough, guys. Okay. And now we're fighting. Sounds like a plan to me. MJ, did you make it out? Yeah. Everyone's safe. Good job. Hey, Peter. Yeah? We done in there? We should talk. Yeah. We should. But first, find me and kick his ass. Sounds like a plan. On the wrong side of MJ. Wonder what side I'm on right now. Alright. Take you out. Take all these guys out. I suppose the game had enough about this, enough of the stealth segment, and it just was now deciding. Okay, time to fight. You had enough sneaking around. You had enough of this nonsense going on. Time for some different kind of nonsense. Okay, guys, trivia time. Did you know Grand Central has the largest basement in New York City? I wonder if they did. Crazy, I didn't know right? that. Fit half the Brooklyn Bridge down there. That's pretty interesting. Ah, I agree. Sure don't make them like they used to. That's old school New York gumption for you. Anyway, I want more basement I trivia. trivia all day, but I gotta stop your wingnut of a boss from destroying the city. Time to wrap this up. But I just said I want more basement trivia. That is upsetting. I'm upset. His escape plan is to use the train. Can't let him get away. Train platform is open. That must be where Lee is. You mean this train platform? Lee's getting away. Hi, Lee. It's nice to see you. Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. And Lee is not questioning why Peter Parker is a skeleton man all of a sudden. I mean Spider-Man, he doesn't know he's Peter Parker. And we're just kind of doing a one-on-one -on -one brawl with Martin Lee here. Why are you doing this? Paying off an old debt. Absorbing these dudes' juices. Whoop, okay. That didn't work. Better wait for an opening. I'm trying to, Peter. What the heck? What was that? What was that? <laughs> wait for an opening, he said. Okay. Here's a continuous stream of attacks. Better keep my distance for now. I suppose I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. He's hurt. There we go. Uh, now we're jumping to the ceiling. All right, all right. You're sick. Let me help you, Bet the train goers didn't think they'd see this today. Then again, it is New York in the Marvel Universe. Ow. Um. Yeah, there we go. I want to heal a little bit. Unless it's my fist! 
Or my feet. Or you know, subway controls. No brakes? No problem. There we go, okay. Spider-Man 2 reference! That totally worked last time. Yuri, they still do construction on 42nd first? Streets closed for another month. Why? <laughs> Because it's time to cause a train derailment. <laughs> That's why. Next stop, prison. And, well, we've managed to capture Mr. Negative, aka Martin Lee, and put a stop to his rampage. And him and his demons, I suppose. Though I'm sure there will be plenty of demons still rolling, roaming around. And off to the raft you go. Martin Lee is defeated. Devil's Breath is safe. Get that cargo back to the lab. And I'm sure Let's nothing move. bad will happen from this point onward. message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, hey, it's me. Let me know when you want to talk. Let me know when you want to talk to your spooky skeleton friend. Texting isn't talking? No, 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 no not that kind of over! No, please say no. Huh. Okay, okay. And not okay. God. What is there to figure out? Oh, you think? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what they say about mixing your uh, life, life, love life and work. You did it. Lee's off to the raft. The devil's breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroics for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. I kind of needed that. Indeed. All this time with Lee, I've been ignoring the city. Time to get back to being a friendly neighborhood Spidey. Yeah, time for a little bit of uh, just swinging around, I guess. Got a research station right here. Why not? Let's take care of this. Hello. This is Stable Control. Need a report of the situation north of Houston. Checking heavy fire from demons at Checkpoint Delta. Oh, that sounds like a you problem, honestly. Let's see. Hiding in the crowd. This station is kind of my answer to Oscorp's hopefully soon to be discontinued chemical weapons research. Systemati systematized counter agents to some of the world's most dangerous chemical agents. Of course, doing that analysis requires us to keep samples of said chemical agents in here. Mm hmm. Well, let's see what we can do here for our okay. good friend Harry. Careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, 
It just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. And now we're controlling the spider bot. An adorable little spider robot following a trail of dangerous chemicals. And sneak it around people's feet. Is mini me cleaning up the spills. It's leading me right to the thief. How cute. I like the spider bot and its little tip tappy walk. This is these are fun parts. <laughs> I like the spider bot. It's nice. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. <laughs> Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Hopefully no one's smoking nearby. Maybe. Alert! Disperse! Spiderbot commands it! Let's see. Get that one and that one. Tip tapping around. Let's see. Let's End of the see. trail. He's in this crowd. He's running. Ah! We gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. There we go. Fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. Indeed. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Yeah, I'm sure, uh, you know, building robotics on a budget of, like, not having an actual job right now is, uh, pretty difficult, honestly. But we can get this right back where it belongs. Chemicals back where it belongs. I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Indeed. So they might want to invest in better locks if someone okay. can break in. I think things are sort of under control. Maybe I should put in some Peter Parker time at the lab. Ah, uh, indeed. So, we do have another side mission right over here. I'd say that's worth our time to check out before we continue on with main story things. Let's go. And also... I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time remembering exactly what point in the story I'm at. I'm almost wondering if I should go ahead and uh, just focus on doing side things for the time being and try to get everything I want to get done done. But uh, let's do this first. And we have to wait till night. Again. As I remember, I'm pretty sure at some point in the main story campaign, there's kind of like a hey, point of no return. There's another missing student. Latest MIA is Steve Hopkins. What worries me about him is some guys from Tombstone's gang started dealing in his neighborhood recently. Steve hated that. It's a nice area, but he was too scared to do anything. If he's corrupted, he might take out his anger on them. And he's the one who'd get hurt. This is the last picture Steve put up before he went silent. I couldn't find anything more recent. Huh. Pretty sure this is the Upper West Side. I think I need to head north. Uh-huh. Uh, Upper... Upper West Side. This way. So, uh... Whoop. Let's put a little marker there. Oh, yeah. There is a little, like, neat social media feed you can check out. The Spider-Man and people talking to Spider-Man and things like that. It's pretty cool. But anyway, we have a waypoint. We're going to the Upper West Side. Let's go. See what else we can get here. West Side next to West Side next to water. Got it, Pete. Keep cutting yourself off like that. Philip, what can you tell me about Steve? He's a little guy. Wouldn't hurt a fly. 
not sure he could if he wanted to. Sounds like these dealers would crush him. And a little guy might burn out quicker. I better hurry. The upper yeah. west side is north of ESU. Yes, Peter. I'm following the marker. Philip is the real MVP here, though. And without his, like, crazy identification software, we'd never be able to get these possessed students under control. <laughs> Definitely helpful. And let's see. Um, not saying anything else, Peter. Oh. Sounds like he's all responsibility, but no power. I hope I can get there in time. Tombstone's gang might not be as bulletproof as their boss, but they're almost as deadly. Ah, we'll get that backpack later. Ah. Uh, kind of hoping Peter would be giving me a few more talky hints as to where I'm supposed to go this time like he was previously, but uh yeah. Seems like he wants to keep silent. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a point of no return in the story after this somewhere where you can't do side things for a while. I don't know when though. I have to check that. Well, I mean, this is where my marker was. Well, thank you, citizen. I appreciate it. Um. Maybe towards more nature area? Ah, there's the square. Okay. We have square. I think that's the. Yeah, there we go. Damn, son, you got a death wish? Hey, fellas, let's take college boy to school. That corrupted guy bit off more than he could chew. Guess I have to rescue him before I cure him. Those guys are armed. Maybe I can take some of them quietly. Indeed. Probably a good idea. Um that time. Zip to Edge here. Hi. I'm gonna have to ask you to come up here for me. Are they actually going to shoot him? Or are they still too busy kicking him? Hello. I'm attach you to a street lamp now. And I don't think we have to be too subtle here. So uh that There we go. Hope you don't mind if I uh destroy your bikes. I'm Sure, you can afford another one with your drug dealer money. Ow. Rude. And let's take you out. All clear, Steve. Let's get Steve! Steve, how could you? Come on, I just saved you. That's very rude of you, this Steve. Is what they call tough love. I am have a skull head too, Steve. Jeez. What did I do? I always had a problem with those guys, but I, 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 tonight I wanted to kill them in ways that I don't even want to think about. Don't worry, this wasn't your fault. And the story of Steve comes to an end. I'm sure he will no longer go after drug dealers on his own ever again. Ah, now, where are we? We're up here. Um, yeah. 
We still have lots of the Taskmaster missions we need to do. We still have some Black Cat things we need to find. Um, Let's head over here and take care of another stealth mission, I'd say. Maybe another research station if there's time. And uh, we'll move on to more story-related things next time. Like I said, I'm not sure where that sort of point of no return where it cuts you off from certain side things comes up. If I'm even remembering it correctly and that is actually something that happens. I'm not totally sure, but I guess I'll do a little research and try to find out. <laughs> but hey, it's stealth mission time. Always fun. Have to take care of this very sneakily and quietly. Let's see. Gotta move quick and quiet. Um... Let's see. That is not what I wanted to do, Peter. That is not what I wanted to do at all. I am so surprised I was not seen just now. What the heck? Alright. Guy on the roof over there. A backpack nearby. We'll worry about that next another time. Um, impact weapon you off the roof. And perch take down you. What else do we got to deal with here? Six dudes all down there. They all have lights on their guns. Interesting. Um, uh, always nice. Because I think they're all down there. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, no, wait. There's more dudes on the roof. Never mind. I to somehow totally missed you. It's fine, though. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, I think it's just dudes down here. I think. Um, yeah, you three guys. You're apparently safe to take down. You're safe to take down. And... Move the head. There we go. Yeah, again, could have been a little faster, but that's not bad. That went well enough, I suppose. Ah. Now then. Wait for time to pass once again to the evening of the next day. Oh, hello. Hello, citizens. Do not mind Spider Skull. I am your friendly neighborhood spider zombie. And, well, there's a backpack here somewhere. Hello. Aw, the good luck card from when I left the Daily Bugle to go into research. Some really great people there. And Jameson. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling he'd say something like that. Also, I don't think we ever checked out this. A spider signal. Cool idea, but any light source that made it bright enough was also way too hot. Someday, though. You'll get the spider signal down at some point. And, well, I guess that's gonna be enough for this episode. 
Uh, we can take a picture. There we go. Natural history museum. Mr. Jameson, I want to apologize. I used to think you were an alarmist. But look what's happened to the city. I'm afraid to walk the streets. As well you should. And I accept your apology. It's understandable. You were bamboozled by the mainstream voices telling you everything was dandy. Nothing to worry about. Go out and consume. Don't ask questions. I was a lone voice in the wilderness then. But now, more and more people like you are realizing who spoke the truth. And that, my friend is how we will take our city back. Wise words, I guess. But anyway, I think that's going to call it for right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look a little up a little more about, like, certain story events and what's gonna happen in the future, because I'm having a lot of trouble remembering exactly what happens when. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for right now. Thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky signing off, and I will catch you later. Still amazed that nobody was alarmed by the Spider-Man with the skull head.